You're also setting yourself up as a teacher in school. Mm. How do you feel about passing on your knowledge or your experience to other people? Well, you, you do that in, in, in your artistic expression anyway. Um, just a matter of now putting it within a context where people can look at it with the sense of learning something they can apply themselves. I think too, too often, especially in film or theatre, people go there uh, as a relief from uh, experience in some sort of state of suspension where it, it, it means nothing to them. Martin, will you be involved in the teaching side of it? Um, yes, probably. Yeah, okay. How do you feel about teaching art? Do you think you can teach art to some people? No, it's not... Um, it's not you can't teach art. It's just... Um, trying to make people open. You can only teach them to be receptive to... I'll be, are you going to be involved in actually teaching people how to make film? Well, you know, it's not so much teaching people how to make film, but uh, helping them make film. But it depends on the degree uh, of the expression that they're wish, wishing to attempt. Um, yeah, there's very minimal things that you need to know about operating a camera. In Amsterdam, I started a children's film class where we gave them automatic cameras and they needed no more instruction than just to press the button. Mm. Uh, you can make films just by painting on film stock and this, this is where two, you know, what have been separated art forms come together. The kids that uh, think they're learning about painting suddenly find that what they've painted can be projected and it becomes a film. Um, we're trying you know, to show that all, all these things are interrelated and that they aren't very hard. What you've got to do is overcome the personal barriers of expression and, and forget the formalism. In centres like this grow into a lot of people coming along and watching you, the creative people, do your thing and they contribute very little. Can you see this happening? Yeah, we, we, we'll overcome this by just the communications that will be established. Having a garden like this where we can sit around and talk over coffee, uh, not having uh, the, the place organised as, as a formalised performance centre, but rather a, as a building with rooms where things can move from one place to the other. It's, so it's a, a total fusion of all uh, styles and periods of time. Uh, you know, more more or less a, a speedy trip through the 20th century, so that you know, all uh, types of expression uh, are revealed. You're organising the gallery side of all this, mm. yeah. but you're not drawing or painting yourself at present. Um, well, that's the thing, you see, it's, uh, if what one learns through one's art must be used through the whole of one's life, otherwise it's invalid. And, um, Painting one of these tables is just as important in a way as painting because the, the place as a whole is what will be taken into consideration the whole time. So perhaps the, the building itself is, is the work of art. And